I'm really excited today to be able to show you a tour of Browning Hall, the interdisciplinary science building and the new home for Webster University Science. Currently in Webster Hall, not only is chemistry in the basement, it's a single room. And now they have a whole floor of chemistry with individual labs for general chemistry, organic chemistry, analytical and inorganic, physical chemistry, whole room for instruments, and chemistry research. We're on the third floor now of Browning Hall. This will be the location of biology teaching labs. And what I'm standing in front of right here will be the Ginny Harris Memorial Fish Tank. Currently this resides within a classroom in Webster Hall, hidden away, but now it'll be on view both from outside in the hallway as well as inside. So we're in my teaching lab, Cell Biology and Biochemistry, and I'm so excited to be able to be teaching biochemistry and only have it be a teaching lab. Now we'll have dedicated research space separate from our teaching spaces. Welcome to the second floor of Browning Hall, home of biology faculty research, general science, physics, and physics research. I can't believe how big this physics lab is. Look at all this space. We're on the first floor of Browning Hall now in the Nurse Anesthesia Dry Skills Lab, where they will hone their skills, but wait till you see what's behind that door. This is the Nurse Anesthesia Simulated Operating Center. This will be all decked out to look exactly like an operating room. And this is a fully automated simulation dummy. It will be controlled by professors behind the screen. They will simulate medical emergencies and the students will be graded on how well they respond. So we're on the ground floor of Browning Hall in the open student research space. We're surrounded by glass. This is truly science on display. And in this place, we will be able to showcase some equipment that we were able to obtain through a generous grant from Monsanto. There'll be a DNA sequencer, there'll be other DNA analysis. We have a growth chamber for our fruit flies and our plants. And this will be for students to come in and do genomics research and for the public to be able to see what they're doing. I'm very excited that from now on, we really have dedicated space to bring research um, to more students here at Webster University.